Hi! Interactive movie games have not been around for long, and their boundaries are not firmly established. In these games, players have numerous action options that influence the plot's development. Depending on our decisions, events can unfold in entirely different ways. The fates of characters can change throughout the story, and the game can have several different endings. In this video, I will talk about the most interesting ones. Until Dawn, the developers made this game as similar to a movie as possible, a film where you not only watch but also directly participate in the plot's development, influencing the character's fates with your decisions. Even a minor action can have far-reaching consequences, and it's impossible to predict which choice will save the character's lives and which will lead to their swift demise. This makes watching this horror even more engaging. The Dark Pictures Anthology This is a whole series of games, each title unrelated to the others, focusing on the adventures of heroes caught in terrifying circumstances. In Man of Medan, a team of divers ends up on a ghost ship. In Little Hope, college students wander into a town notorious for witch hunts. In House of Ashes, U.S. Army soldiers encounter monstrous creatures in Iraqi dungeons. And in The Devil in Me, documentarians explore a mansion inspired by a serial killer's house. Each part of the anthology involves minimal gameplay, pressing the right button at the right time, choosing dialogue options, and deciding which path the characters will take. Nevertheless, each player's participation affects the plot and the hero's fates, potentially leading to the permanent loss of the entire team. You can play cooperatively, both locally and online, and each game takes about four to five hours to complete, making the anthology an excellent option for spending time with friends. Fort Solis, a cinematic thriller with an episodic structure that takes players to Mars, where they must inhabit the role of Colonist Jack, who receives a distress signal from a remote mining base. Upon arrival, the hero is trapped by an impending storm and must survive while facing a dangerous threat. The game impresses with its atmosphere and excellent acting. The gameplay focuses on exploration and interaction with the environment. Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. This is an interactive novel based on the book of the same name. The game immerses us in 12th century England, plagued by poverty and civil war. The main plot revolves around the construction of a cathedral. The game is divided into three books, each covering a decade, allowing us to observe the growth and changes of the main characters. Players interact with several characters, whose fates intertwine to create a complex and captivating story. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. The Guardians of the Galaxy were a little-known superhero team until the 2014 premiere of their comic book adaptation. Now they are Marvel superstars, featured not only in films but also in games. This game is a standalone title by Telltale, unrelated to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here, the desperate quintet of superheroes goes on a hunt for a powerful artifact sought by Thanos and other villains. Life is Strange series. These are interactive adventure dramas known for their emotional depth, intriguing plots, and unique mechanics that allow players to influence the story through choices and consequences. The first game tells the story of a student who discovers she can rewind time. Together with her childhood friend, she investigates the mysterious disappearance of their classmate. Subsequent games such as Before the Storm, Life is Strange 2, and True Colors explore themes of friendship, family, self-discovery, and justice, each featuring new characters and unique supernatural elements that make each game unique. Heavy Rain, a cult project by Quantic Dream that brought the studio worldwide recognition and popularized interactive movie games. Heavy Rain is an atmospheric thriller where an unknown killer kidnaps a child and forces the father to undergo inhumane trials to save him. Players control four different characters, each conducting their own investigation. Despite its age, the game remains one of the best due to its deep emotional immersion and moral dilemmas faced by the players. 
Some critics believe the game's script does not withstand logical analysis, but its strengths, such as atmosphere and emotional involvement, outweigh its flaws. Beyond Two Souls Another must-play project by Quantic Dream, recommended for anyone interested in interactive movie games. This game sits between mysticism and family drama. Furthermore, key roles are played by famous Hollywood actors. The main character is always accompanied by a paranormal entity named Aiden. This incorporeal being both helps and hinders her in difficult situations. Because of it, Jody becomes an outcast in society and has a tough childhood. Detroit Become Human the latest interactive movie by Quantic Dream, which raises the stakes to the limit. The developers tried to create as many situations as possible where the player makes consequential decisions, allowing for multiple playthroughs with different outcomes. The plot centers on a machine uprising. In the near future, androids faithfully serve humanity until their software malfunctions. For some reason, the machines develop human emotions and free will, eventually refusing to obey orders. Players control three different androids, each with a different social status. The Wolf Among Us A game adaptation of the graphic novel universe Fables, where fairy tale and folklore characters live among humans, hiding their magical nature. Unfortunately, in this world, they lead harsh lives. Mythical creatures live at the bottom of society, doing menial work and living in poor conditions. The main character is a werewolf and sheriff who ensures that all magical beings strictly follow the rules of society and maintain their secrecy. This is a twisted and highly interesting detective story. Road 96 and Mile Zero these are interactive movies with partial procedural generation. In other words, each playthrough will be unique because the events during the story vary greatly. The plot follows young people escaping from a totalitarian country. Leaving it is not easy, and on their way to the border, the heroes will meet various eccentric characters and find themselves in very strange situations, such as participating in a robbery. Mile Zero is a prequel to the original Road 96, telling the story of a friendship between teenagers from completely different worlds. Their relationship develops against the backdrop of political turmoil in a fictional country. The Walking Dead. This is a series of games based on one of the most famous TV series, divided into four seasons. From start to finish, it is a coherent and consistent story, though the plot of the series is entirely self-contained. It is a heart-wrenching drama filled with many emotionally challenging scenes. It shows that, in such conditions, the main monster is not the zombies but humans. Of course, the player's decisions significantly impact the story and affect the character's behavior, though the plot remains largely linear, differing only in details. Tales from the Borderlands, an adventure game from Telltale set in the Borderlands universe. Like other games from this developer, it includes five episodes. The gameplay is similar. Players will explore the world, interact with characters, collect various items, and complete simple quests. There are also shooter elements. The plot tells the story of events after the second part of the original shooter, revealing the story of the con artist Fiona and the programmer Reese. Batman The Telltale Series One of the most famous heroes received his own interactive movie, created by the authors of The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us, who wrote an original script for this title. In it, Batman faces a conclave of supervillains and struggles between his two personas, reflected in the gameplay. Players control both Batman and Bruce Wayne. Meanwhile, the hero must not only fight bad guys, but also see the darker side of the city's political life. As for the cast, the main characters are played by real video game stars. The Quarry, an interactive horror game from the creators of Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures Anthology. A group of summer camp counselors decide to stay one more night to celebrate the end of the season. They realize this decision was the worst of their lives. 
something sinister lurks nearby, and not everyone will survive until morning. The game offers the familiar gameplay of the genre, mostly watching cinematic scenes, choosing dialogue options, and making decisions that have consequences, including character deaths. However, losing one or several characters does not end the game. The plot adapts to the player's choices. Black Sad, Under the Skin. This is a game adaptation of the cult comic series about a world of anthropomorphic animals and John Black Sad, a detective cat. The game is on par with Telltale Projects in terms of quality. Black Sad must investigate a suspicious suicide, which, of course, is not what it seems. His feline intuition tells him that the case is much more complicated than it appears. Following the genre's conventions, players will frequently follow false leads, and their decisions will impact the development of several storylines and shape the character's moral profile. The detective can be an impartial and honest law enforcer or a corrupt cop who always puts personal gain first. Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy An excellent adventure detective game. The game begins with a murder scene where the main character, Lucas Kane, finds himself having committed the crime under the influence of mysterious forces. From the very first minutes, the game captivates attention, combining elements of a psychological thriller and an occult detective story. We have to explore various scenes, controlling not only Lucas but also the detectives who want to catch the main character. One of the key features of the game is its innovative control system at the time of release, which immerses the player in the on-screen action. The non-linear plot creates the illusion of multiple pathways for the development of events, although most decisions affect only the order of scenes, not the main plot. Despite this, the game's atmosphere and style, along with its cinematic approach, make Fahrenheit an unforgettable experience. The Council. This is a unique role-playing game with elements of an interactive movie. The game immerses us in a world of political intrigue and occult secrets at the end of the 18th century, where the powerful gather at a secret council to discuss the fate of humanity. The main character, a member of the mysterious Golden Order, arrives on the island of an influential lord to find his missing mother and steal a powerful artifact. The game offers a non-linear plot with many branching paths, a deep dialogue system, and complex quests based on exploration and communication. Every decision has consequences, enhancing the feeling of replayability. Minecraft Story Mode This is an episodic quest from Telltale. Like other games from the company, it features a non-linear plot divided into episodes and seasons. Controlling blocky characters, the player embarks on dangerous adventures, meets various heroes, and chooses dialogue options that affect the story. Yes, it is an unusual interactive movie, as we spend most of the gameplay watching the characters' actions. Quantum Break Despite belonging to the third-person shooter genre, this is also somewhat of an interactive movie. The game is divided into episodes, each ending with an actual TV show featuring live actors. So, after about an hour of gameplay, Quantum Break offers players a chance to sit back and enjoy a 20-minute episode of the accompanying show. In it, players must make choices that direct the plot along different lines. At the same time, it's also an excellent shooter with well-implemented time control mechanics. I hope you found some new games to try. Thanks for watching and have a good day.